Miss Bob, I'm in the back of Prager's Gun Shop, and they have. Uh, this has been the uh, seat of many break-ins throughout the years. Right here is where they uh, repaired the wall, where someone knocked the hole in it at one point. Over here is yet another one where they've repaired it. And overnight, somebody tried to knock a hole in right here. Well, they actually did knock a hole right here. It's since been repaired, but this time the bad guys were met with tear gas. All cockroaches. I mean, you know, cockroaches, you know, sneak between the, the cracks and crevices of the walls to get into your place and, you know, eat your food and leave a mess. Prager's gun shop manager Gordon Shore is referring to the thieves that knocked a hole in the back of the building overnight. So they had to kind of skinny through that little part right there. The thieves were able to enter the shop. They presumably wanted to get their hands on the $200,000 worth of pistols, rifles, and shotguns, but they didn't quite get that far. They made it probably five feet into the store before the secondary went off, and that, that discouraged them. They left in a lot of pain. You see, the audible right alarm system went off. The thieves probably expected that, but they didn't one. expect the second alarm system, which activated two tear gas canisters. That sets the secondary alarm system. Then it is tripped by one of the monitors in the store, and that dumps out eight pounds of CN and tear gas, uh, pepper gas. The gas that was released by the alarm system is very similar to the gas that's in these canisters, which many women carry in their purses. It's a combination of tear gas and pepper spray. Prager's was able to retain their merchandise, but more importantly, these weapons are not in the hands of the bad guys on the street. We don't want the guns out on the streets. The people we sell to are legitimate, you know, law-abiding citizens. And right here, as I mentioned before, this is where the hole was, and they spent the day repairing it. In fact, the uh, paint is still a little uh, wet at this point. No arrests in the case. In fact, police don't even know how many people were involved, but the tear gas canisters, they have been recharged, and they're ready for anyone else who wants to try again. Live in Orlando, I'm Jack Camber, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. A new era of security systems may be just on the horizon. It's a system that shoots tear gas and pepper spray almost the instant it's tripped. It's called the extruder, and it was put to the real test overnight when burglars broke into an Orlando gun shop. Channel 9's Ted Scout joins us live with details. Ted? Well, Marla, some may call the extruder a system with an attitude, a bad attitude, that is, especially if you're on the wrong side of it. What it's basically saying to the criminals is that you've messed with the wrong property. This is the hole burglars made when they broke into Prager's gun shop. Maybe they expected an alarm to go off, but they likely did not expect to hear a loud bang and then be showered with tear gas and pepper spray, all of it pouring out of the wall and the ceiling. So that a big bang, they probably thought they were shot, and then it dumps that gas out in about three seconds and it's absolutely snow white in here, just like walking into Los Angeles fog. This is what it looks like when the extruder goes off. You can see it fills the room quickly. It's fast and it's powerful, and likely leaves the crooks dazed, wondering what he just walked into. He will have no time to uh, sit and think about it once the system is, is fired off. I mean, he just has one thing on his mind, and that is to get out of there. And that's what happened at the gun shop. The bandits left a store filled with guns behind, running like mad to get away from the gas. That discouraged him. They left in a lot of pain. I'm sure in a lot of pain. It's made by a Merritt Island company. And just a note here that pretty soon the name will be changed from Extruder to the Stealth Guard. We're live in Orlando. I'm Ted Scout and Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right. Thank you, Ted. Right here. And the second. Five feet in? About five, six feet in. And the second system went off. And it floods the store in three to five seconds. And it just absolutely, everything goes white. Translation? The burglars got a big fat dose of tear gas and red pepper spray. It was shooting fast and furious out of two canisters. Here's what it looks like on a demonstration tape. By all Puts them in hell for about 20 minutes. Uh, it's really nasty stuff and you can't breathe, your eyes burn. Needless to say, the burglars beat a hasty retreat through the very hole they created. They were too preoccupied to steal a thing. The alarm system was proclaimed a success. The folks at Prager say they had to resort to this because burglars just love them. You can't keep the cockroaches out no matter what you do. Uh, you put bars on the windows, cinder block walls, steel plates on the doors, and the cockroaches still get in. Now this security system has only been on the market about a year and a half, and it just so happens that the only company that makes it is in Merritt Island. I talked to the owner of Global Airtech, and he said this is the first time a burglar has tripped their alarm. And they were very, very proud that it worked the way it was supposed to. I'm Michelle Meredith reporting live from the newsroom. Pretty ingenious. you got to give it that. Oh, yeah.
Whoever it was that tried to break into an Orlando gun shop ran away crying. That's because Prager's is now protected by tear gas, two large canisters mounted in the ceiling, triggered by an intrusion, like the one this morning when somebody broke through the back wall with a sledgehammer. The system worked just fine. Nothing missing except the crook, who shed a few tears of regret. And that tear gas system is a new security trend. People who use it think it's more effective than burglar alarms. And as Lisa Caligossi found out, it is manufactured right here in Central Florida. At Prager's gun shop, they're rearming the security system that successfully fought off some would-be thieves. The canisters, first of all, are set off with a 22 blank shell. So there's a large bang when, it, when they are set off, so they probably thought they were being shot at. The thieves left a hole in the wall, but didn't take any merchandise. The extruder is manufactured by Global Aerotech in Merritt Island. Global Aerotech started out making mace and pepper spray for police departments and individuals. Then they decided to take this idea one step further. Shops. But with the success of the system in this case, this could be the security wave of the future. In Merritt Island, Lisa Calagrassi, Channel 6 News. Since the gun store break-in this morning, the company has already received calls from people who want to install this tear gas system in their homes. Cinder blocks lie on the floor inside the back door, remnants of a door frame that took a beating from a stolen van the burglars tried to plow into the store. But once they created enough motion and heat inside, one of these, a canister of gas called Stealth Guard, sprayed the area with enough noxious gas to send the hoods packing. Gets to them immediately. The effect is immediate. Within two seconds, that man is turned around and out. And had the criminals made it inside the store, they would have been disappointed anyway. All these rifles and all the handguns in the display case, every weapon in here is locked up overnight. So while it's not exactly Fort Knox, Magnum Gun Sales is not an easy target. I've been here for almost 11 years now, and this is the first time, so... You know, it, does, it doesn't really bother us, it's just aggravating having to turn around and fix all this stuff. But it's better than having weapons like these in the hands of criminals, some of whom have been learning a lesson about what might await them during a break-in. We've had four break-ins in the Orlando area in the last six months with our unit. In no case was there any inventory lost. In September, thieves who used a sledgehammer to get into this Orlando gun shop were thwarted by the same gas. 